Come Holy Spirit, bless this uh, unworthy priest that I may preach with humility, with a heart, and not just with the lips. And that all who listen, listen with their heart, and not just with their ears. Come Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, ano nga sa'yo? Kamsaham nida, saranghe, otosum nika, chow chine sa'yo. That's Korean. I speak Korean. I spent four years in South Korea po as a missionary. Good reminder today for all of us. World Mission Sunday. Well, mga kapatid, kumusta na po kayo? How are you? According to our calculations, it's it's been 218 days since March 15, quarantine. Wow, more than half of the year. And 69 days before Christmas. So how are you now? Thank you very much for hanging on. And if you look back, we're okay. We're growing in the quarantine. We're fighting COVID-19. At maganda pong paalaala, World Mission Sunday. Please don't forget, life is a mission. I don't know. If life for you is just a vacation, is life for you just a good time? Unless and until you see life as a mission, there is always that emptiness, parang shallow, parang vain, and you end up lonely. Mission. Why were we born? Because we have a God-given mission. Why are we still alive? We still have a mission. Somebody has passed away, mission accomplished then. So I ask you today, ask yourself, Lord, what is a mission? And you cannot answer that if you don't listen. Listen to God, please. Listen more. I was looking at the gospel to give to Caesar what is Caesar's, to give to God what is God's. Simply lang po. Perhaps you can remember there was that orito- oratorical peace on friends, Romans, and countrymen. Lend me your ears. Lend me your ears. Are you listening enough to God? It's interesting. God gave us one mouth and two ears. Does that tell you anything? We should listen more and talk less. You know, you, the ears are here and the ears are here. Pero pag pinagdikit mo pala yung ears, ayan, heart. Look at the word heart. Somebody pointed out, H-E-A-R-T. In the middle is ear, the word ear. Maybe that's what I'd like to ask you in your reflection today. Are you giving enough of your ear to the Lord? Are you listening really to the Lord? You know, the Lord is always speaking. And the Lord is always talking to us. There was somebody who told, asked me, Father, is God speaking to us in this pandemic situation? Definitely, please listen. God is speaking to you. Listen, and please listen 
with your heart. Prayer time. You know, I realize more and more, kulang pa eh. Our world is so full of chatter, noise, cell phones. Please find time now and say, Kailan ba ako talaga may prayer time? Just to listen. And then when you come to prayer, wag naman yung palaging ikaw na naman. And you're just talking and talking. You're not really listening. That's why I'm, I keep saying there are people who are so prayerful, pero hindi nagbabagong ugali. Why? Because you're not really listening to God. Listen more, please. To God. And listen more to the people around you. How often have I talked to parents? You know, the problem ko tong anak ko father, ganito kasi ganito ganito. And you know, just by the way she talked. <laughs> and the only answer I question I asked her was, do you do you really listen to your children? Yeah, father, I have to tell them everything. She should do this, do that. I have to remind them. They have to be good. I mean well, Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps if you listen more and you talk less, something happens. Many times, po, we're just too busy correcting, uh, making so many comments. We just don't really listen. And there's a little story about a little boy who said one day, Papa, how much do you earn? Ooh. The daddy said, oh, why that question? Well, how much do you earn? And they computed, well, in a month I earn about, let's say, 30,000 or And then how, how many, how much do you earn in a week? How much do you earn in a day? And they ended up saying, oh, I earn about, 1,000 pesos a day. And you know what the little boy said, Papa, you know, I have some savings here. 1,000, Papa. Can I have just one day with you? May I just have that, that you're with me and you're listening to me just one whole day. You're always in your computer. You're always talking. You see, you don't realize it. Maybe it's time for you today to ask the people around you, Kamusta ka? How are you? How are things? I'm here. I'm listening. Listen, please. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Give to God what is God's. Listen to God. Give your ears to God and give to your loved ones your ears as well. Nalala ko nga ho yung isang incident. I've told this before, I think. I was in Japan for a recollection of the OFWs. I was with a group of Filipino priests and sisters in the Japanese restaurant. Wow, sabi ko. Good. And the sister beside me, I, I asked her, Sister, uh, what's your order, sister? Sabi ko. Our order, Father, you know, well, uh, we are Franciscans, you know, we came to Japan, our apostolate carries up. Hala, sige, nagsalita na ng salita. He, she kept talking about her order. And then she noticed I was just quiet. And then she said, Father, why are you asking? Ah, sister, gusto ko lang humalaman kung anong masarap na order dito sa Japanese restaurant. Ano bang magandang ma-order dito, sister? Not listening talking too soon, preaching too soon, correcting too soon. Please listen. And please listen more to God, not to whoever world leaders or presidents we have. You know, elections coming in America. You know, the bottom line is this. Governments, leaders, come and go. God remains. And don't be so caught up in all this politics and everything that, hey, they're not God. Don't make them such a big thing. You know why? 
you are not such a big ten thing to them. That's the bottom line. People come and go, God remains. So listen to God more, more than your political affiliation. Hindi po yan eh. Listen to God. Everything else will fall into place, mga kapatid. And so, please give to God what God, what is due to God. Give to people what is due to people. Listen more. And please listen with the heart. Listen with the heart. You know, I had one time uh, a counselee, you know, pabalik-balik. And I said to myself, Naku, ito na naman. The same issues, the same. And this time, I just, you know, told her everything, ganito, dapat, ganito, ganito, dapat. And you know, I, I really felt bad after she left. Sure, maybe she learned, but but I said, but maybe all she needed was a listening ear. Not my brilliance, not my eloquence. And that's what people need many times. It's just that, yeah, I'm here. Sige, I, I listen to you. Sige, I'll waste my time with you. If that's the meaning, that's all you want. It's okay. Sisters and brothers, husbands and wives, don't take for granted that everything is okay. Ah, okay yan, okay naman siya, wala na yan problema. Na-train na yan. <laughs> I hear some wives talk like this. Hey, hey, hey. You just don't know. Don't presume what's going on inside. Same with the wife. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Listen. Ask. Kumusta ka na? How are things? Because only when we listen can we really experience the heart. So today too, remember our mandate to share the Word of God in dialogue, in respect, understanding with other world religions and cultures. We listen to them. We don't go there and impose our values, our truths. Because we believe that truth is in everyone. Let's really listen. World mission, the world out there still has not heard the good news. Two-thirds of the world population has not yet accepted the good news of our salvation. Go to the whole world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. So what are we doing? What are we doing the rest of our lives? Now, you and I here, we can do that already. Many are doing uh, social media. Meron din ito. Pero, ibig sabihin, you text goodness, you te- text positive, you go to your social media, something like that. To remind the world that there is a God and that, that everything is not lost. Kasi po, there's a tendency to say, wala na, ang gulo na ng mundo. Everything is about hate. Everything is about selfishness and bashing. Parang it's the game of the devil now. Well, definitely it's happening. But, but, please don't forget this. God is victorious. Goodness triumphs over evil. Don't forget, mga kapatid. Jesus is stronger than the virus. Positive. OMG positive. Labanan ng COVID-19 listen to God. And one more thing, uh, the Blessed Mother, I, I noticed this, beautiful, Our Lady of Fatima. Uh, there's one image that I really, the image of Fatima, if you notice it, she have one in, in your home right now. The image of Mama Mary of Fatima, the head is tilted to the left like this. Parang nakaganon siya eh. Hindi siya ganyan. It's like this. I take it this this. She's listening with her heart to us and she's also listening to God. This is the picture that we should all have. We're listening to God, yes. And we're listening to people. We're listening to the world. And the other picture of Fatima is uh, the hand, one hand is like this. I've seen this. Bakit ganito po yung kamay? Well, welcoming you. Anak, come. 
and shielding you. Shielding all those that would do harm against you. As long as you're in my heart, you're shielded from all this. Yeah, Mama Mary, October, month of the rosary. And, uh, you know, even praying the rosary, sometimes we pray it without even listening to God. Actually, it should be a meditative prayer. Not just me firing one helmet after another helmet, fire at will, rapido, machine gun. That's just you talking. So in between the mysteries, diba? the first mystery, second mystery, this is the time when you meditate, okay, this is what it's all about, the Annunciation. Pray the rosary with a listening and a loving heart, mga kapatid. So life is a mission, don't forget that. It's not a vacation. No, it's not. My mission ka. My mission ako, why we are still alive. And please, life is not about commissions. Ang buong buhay mo, panay, commission na. Nakalimutan mo na yung mission. Kasi commission, commission, commission. No. Focus on the mission, not on the commissions. And life is not about consumption. Panay, problema na lang iniatupag mo and you've forgotten your other missions for other people. At huwag sanang ikaw ang maging konsumisyon, problema ng ibang tao. Can you imagine that? You're not even a part of the solution. You've become a part of the problem. Lord, let me not be a problem to other people. Huwag sanang akong dahilan para mga ibang tao malungkot, hindi na masaya o nasasaktan. Lord, we have many things to ask you. And please don't forget, transmission. We are supposed to transmit as far as we can the virus of God's love. Ah, pero yung transmission ng OMG, hindi po automatic transmission yan. <laughs> hindi ibig sabihin, wow, OMG, positive na ako, automatic na. No po. Manual po yan. Ibig sabihin, you have to make it happen. Dapat yung symptom, madala mo. OMJ ka, pero hindi ka naman symptomatic. Hindi po automatic yan. Manual po. It's a daily decision to bring joy, to bring love, to bring hope wherever we are. So mga kapatid, I just want to honor Father Lenny Mercado, SVD. 85 years old. Quiet, humble, very accomplished person. Philosophy, the elements of Filipino philosophy, Filipino theology. You know, that's what I really appreciate in this guy. He did his mission quietly, without fanfare, without air. He just did it. Why? He didn't want to be in the limelight. He just kept following the light. Follow the light. Don't worry about spotlights and lamp lights. Just follow the light. And you say before the Lord at the end, Lord, mission accomplished. So listen to God more. Listen to people. Listen to the world. Listen to your body. Listen to what's happening. God is speaking. Are we listening? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mama Mary. Please help us to listen more to God, dear Mother Mary. Amen. Amen. We profess our faith as you pray. I believe.